Well, then I'll be heading to the launch pad, so, Chief, make sure you come too. Alright, I guess I will. It's good to know that I don't have to be at here to access the casino and I can just access it at a, at a safe point with the blue uh, thing, of course. All right, so where is the thing? How do I get to it? Uh, hangar? I'm assuming. This is my assumption I am making. God, that Durandal logo is real fucking sick. Every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, that's so cool looking. Right, where is the thing? Do you know the thing? Oh, no, no, no. There's all sorts of valuable things like explosives in the armory. If you go in there without permission, I'm the one who gets in trouble. Let me in! I'm gonna need those! Do you know how much shit I'm gonna have to fight? Let me the fuck in. I don't think this is where I need to be. See, Little Master's AGWS. Of all the, of all them I've worked on, this has got to be the most amount of attention. No, it's not in here. Not the hangar. Okay. Well. Where do I go then? I'm sure I was told. But. Uh. I, I don't know, man. I haven't, I haven't been to isolation area. I don't think so. Isolation area. What is this all about? Is this like a quarantine zone? Beyond that door is a storage warehouse for important secrets. You cannot pass through this area without permission from either Master Guinan or the Little Master. Oh, uh, I guess I can't do much here then. Alright. So... Doc? Maybe? Oh, there's Cosmos. So I'm going the right way. Hello there, Cosmos. Xion, I will return to the service module on the Elsa for my regular data update. I appreciate your invitation, but I need to report our current situation to the committee. It's not a chance to get often. Go on and enjoy yourself. Anyone else just hanging around? Anyone else? I could run up the stairs and look goofy. Yeah! Guinan's private beach. It was still under construction last time I was here, so it'll be the first time I actually get to see it. Guinan's private beach. I can't wait to see what it's like. Alright, I've talked to everyone. Xion, why do you look so down? Let's hurry up and go to the beach. I'll show you around. Uh... Are you in my party? You're in my party. Yeah, I'll, I'll rock with that party. That's a solid party as far as I could tell. Now here's, oh, why is it taking so long? Now here's the real question. Foundation's a fun place. Yeah, whatever. Here's the real question. Uh, oh, I thought you were falling asleep. All right. Where do go to beach? It's not over here. Where the fuck is it? Is it up here? Oh. Is, is, is it this? Is this the beach? Uh. Shh. 
sure. Let, let's, let's go? Xion, would you laugh at me if I told you that I think she has a heart? Cosmos? Showing emotional behavior? I've run across some interesting phenomena. It's still pretty weak, of course. Almost like a tiny little pulse. Really? We should definitely keep an eye on that. Cosmos' elemental data structure duplicates that of the human brain. So something like that's certainly not out of the question. She was empathizing with Momo back there. I wonder what her subconscious waves were like. Flatline. Oh well, nothing here at all. Well, what's the matter, Chief? You didn't come down to the beach just to stare at a screen all day, did you? Come on, Xi'an. Why don't you come and play with us? Sorry. In a bit. Are you working on Cosmos? It must be really tough. Ah, Cosmos. She's got a lot of black box areas that even we can't analyze. Black box? Yeah. We're painstakingly analyzing her bit by bit so that we can recreate her original form again. The only person who knew everything about Cosmos was Kevin. <sighs> Say, Alan, do you think Guinan and Junior are father and son? They look a little too far apart in age to be brothers. I've heard rumors here and there. Some say Guinan cloned himself, while others say Junior's his illegitimate son, or... I don't think he's a clone. Their genome arrays are a little too different for that. Wow! You can actually see that, Momo? I'm an observational realian. They're more than just siblings, or father and son. But at the same time, they're not identical either. Is that sort of thing possible? Their DNA only has to differ by 0.1% to make them different people, right? Hey, who's an illegitimate son? Uh, man, this beach is really great. It doesn't feel artificial at all. It's our latest product. You can even change the weather. You can't have blue skies all the time, right? Representative Helmer, busy as always, I see. Well, hello, Negredo. How are things going? Hmm. I don't really care for that name. My apologies. I'm still not accustomed to calling you Guinan. So, how can I help you? We're currently headed your way, and we're carrying an unusual package. 
so I thought it best to inform you. Oh? We secured it from an unexpected source. The Federation cruiser Woglinde. It's an emulator. The twelfth one. That matches the Utic records. Right. There's no question that it's responsible for the planetary disappearance. Assuming they haven't constructed any more, that's all of them. Aside from the original, of course. That's clearly impossible. Now that the only man who can create them is no longer alive. True enough. And one more thing. We have the Contact Subcommittee's 100 series prototype. How did that wind up in your hands? One of our passenger freighters rescued her 76 hours ago. Is the ability to attract that sort of coincidence another one of your special powers? Not a coincidence, but a probability, as a certain acquaintance might say. Anyway, I'm concerned with what the UTIC organization is up to. You may want to step up your precautions. I'll see what I can sniff out from the UMN Administration Bureau. We can locate any large-scale gate jumps from there. Excellent idea. Assuming they have no emulators in their possession. The odds are that they'll go after the original sealed on old Milsha. Not to mention... Udu. I don't know what their ultimate goal is. But we can't allow that thing to reawaken again, no matter what. Understood. We'll prepare for your arrival. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Well, I'm going back to the Elsa to check on Cosmos. Are you sure you'll be alright, Chief? Yeah, sorry for losing it earlier. I don't have very good memories of Thunder. Chief. I'm a little tired, so maybe I'll rest at the hotel at, 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 in City Sector 27. I'll go to the Elsa after I get a little rest. Please take care of Cosmos until then. Alright. Um, Chief? Please don't push yourself too hard. Yes, I know. Man, way to ruin the mood, Junior. Speaking of, still all in my party. Didn't mean to press the circle button. Which my brain is like, yeah, circles to go back, right? Right? No, not in this game at the very least. This game's too Japanese, too early Japanese. By real, I mean early PS2. It's like 2001, I think this game came out. I think so. Yo, what up? Oh, Ziggy. Is there something wrong? No, I just came to see how you were doing. Sure, that's what you say, but the real reason why you came here is because you wanted to play, right? Are you alright? You don't look well. Uh, it's nothing, really. I'm completely fine. Okay, if you say so. But it's better not to push yourself too much. Yes, I know. Are you in the party now? You are in the party now. Uh, map? For real? Shit, man. I'm not allowed to see what the, what this is? Why? Uh. Well, shit, what's this? Oh. No, I'm good. I I don't have money. Uh help. Yeah, let's let's enter that part. Hello. Or okay, whatever, it's fine. Iron Man. Doors open, let's do it. What's in you? There's a lot of people in here. What do you have? Hey, I haven't seen you around before. Have you been working out regularly? You won't make it in this town looking like that. Listen, men have to be strong, you know what I mean? Or else you can't protect what's important. Um, I don't know who you're talking to, but, uh, she on here isn't a man. So. What the fuck? What? Man, I love this shop style. 
Look at that, the Iron Three. I've always admired them ever since I was a kid. I'm who I am today, thanks to that comic. Uh, I want that item. How do I get to it? Watch out! This is a cargo elevator. You can operate it with the switch on the second floor. Second floor, you say? How do I get there? I don't really know. Oh well. Bartender's a long way. The stories are annoying. Uh, what? Am I not able to do anything in here? Alright, I'm out. It's a bit of a waste of time. Oh, the bartender will get angry if you mess with that crank. The bartender's really strong. He'd probably beat you down in one punch. Oh, he would, would he? Turn the crank? Yeah. Did that do anything? I mean, I know it did that, but... Fuck it, I'm out. Yo, search the trash! Or not. Oh, now you've done. I warn you not to touch it. Oh, but it's strange. I feel really happy. I feel like we could become really good friends. Uh, I don't know what I did. Are you going to stay at this hotel? Oh, here's the hotel. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Time to go sleep. Uh, do I check? No. Uh, do I check in here? No, you're the, you're the shop. Nothing worthwhile. Uh. Why would I give Momo physical attack plus? It's a fucking waste. I can buy some of these. Physical defense down. Wait. Is there tech attacks? Oh, shit. And bullets. Um. Dude. Do, do I get these? Do I want these? I don't know. I don't know. Fuck. Which would be the best for this? I mean, these affect both uh, pe people and Gnosis type. But would I want physical attack or physical defense? I feel like I'm too squishy. I probably want physical attack down. But, uh, sure. I'll get a shock blade. Why would I get two? What? Okay. And bullets? Sure. I, I feel I think these I can just sell all of them right I'm not poor as poor nothing worthwhile whatever what the hell was that nah shit I'm always fucking pressing the wrong button she she on I don't even have access to thermal blast. I got shock blade. Oh. oh. Okay. I understand now. I'm gonna put thermal blast on so I don't have to use exclusively lightning blast. I think that's fine. Two points you got. Oh, I can't do shit with you. 
point shot attack. Moonlit Serenade Storm Waltz. I like those names. That's pretty sick. Alright. Uh. Fuck. Well. Wait, no, I got bullets for you. How do I equip those? Equip. RK200, 280. Yeah, better strength. He's got a cowboy hat. Okay. Sure. Get the fuck out of my way. Don't touch that safe. Oh. I guess I won't touch that safe. How do I sign... Welcome. Must be Director Guinan's guest. I've already received payment from Director Guinan, so please... Ma oh, okay. I feel much better. I was probably waiting. Better hurry back to the Elsa and start the maintenance on Cosmos. Yo! Alright, back to it. Okay, what do you say before I shoot this? This is a trap to stop the enemy skills. This type is especially effective against poison skills. Got it. Even a nitwit like you can understand what I'm saying, right? Okay, maybe I was right in shooting it. Fuck you. Alright, I'm out. Oh, you're just right here? You're not even with Cosmos? Oh, Chief, welcome back. Well, did you rest well? Yep, I'm fine now. Let's get to work. Let's get working on doing maintenance on Cosmos, shall we? Current output is 5.806 LPP. Not even 3% of the required levels. In other words, you're saying it's impossible to open the door to Lost Jerusalem. Open the door? It's doubtful whether we can even find it. I've told you repeatedly that the emulators were mere supplements. You're the one who ignored that. Because of you, we've lost a valuable asset. I've done what I can with what we have, but it's not going to make much difference. Even Mizrahi couldn't pull this off without the original. So, have you finally come to acknowledge that lunatic's work? I'm just being objective. No one in the universe is as knowledgeable in this field as he was. We can't keep our commander waiting any longer. We'll proceed with Plan 401. Plan 401, huh? That seems a bit extreme to me. The 100 series that Helmer's protege is babysitting, not only does it contain the entire record of Mizrahi's research, but the access code for the UMN transfer column to the sealed area of Old Milsha also resides in it. Treat it too roughly, and you'll lose everything. I'm well aware of the importance of Milsha and the Y data. That's why I'm using him. I do not like him. His eyes share the same look as Mizrahi's. The same as yours. <laughs> well. I'll be waiting for the good news. Pellegree, secure a channel to our commander. I want to report this and discuss our plans for manipulating the committee. I see. So what do you want me to do? The situation is proceeding as planned. Don't interfere with it for now. Of course. I can't imagine the Second Milshan government and the Kukai Foundation will simply hand it over. If this situation warrants, we may have to use the Song of Nephilim. Now this is a surprise. I thought you hated it with a passion. I'm just saying even your toys have their uses. Then why don't you join me? We can enjoy the show together. Thanks, I'll pass. I don't share your perverse taste in hobbies. <laughs> 
Yeah, right, you gutless bastard. Albedo. A URTV. A monster born of life recycling. There are plenty of mentally unstable life recycling variants out there. Just as Cherenkov was one of them. If he starts getting impatient and moves on his own... You needn't worry about that. Time means nothing to him. The only thing that interests him is that realia. Are you really going to use the Song of Nephilim? Pellegree, have you ever heard it? That song draws everything unto madness. Milsha, I never thought I'd come back under these situations. Chief, is something wrong? Huh? Uh... Oh no, it's uh, nothing. How's that, Cosmos? Fine. There are no problems. Please continue. And once again, it's nothing. We will soon be entering the Milshan star system. We will be entering orbit at 1400 hours local time. Second Milsha spaceport flight control, transmitting flight plan, requesting permission to dock. Hey, Momo. Yes, what is it? We'll be going our separate ways once we get to second Milsha, right? Yes. I don't know if Reallians believe in carrying charms or not, but... Here, take this. It's for luck. It's so pretty. What is it? It's a bullet from a long time ago. Look. It's got a good luck phrase on it. Sayonara, baby! Thank you. I'll keep it safe. Oh, wait. Hold on a sec. Huh? Ah, there we go. Try it on. You can do things like that, too? That's wonderful! It kind of tires me out a bit, though. What a strange welcome! Are they escorting us in this time? They're blocking the way? <laughs> this is no welcome. <laughs> As you can see from this video, the Kukai Foundation has engaged in what is clearly an act of aggression against the 117th Marine Division. From the events that followed, we can only come to the conclusion that this was an act of rebellion orchestrated by the Foundation's creators, the Second Milshan Government. In light of these troubling events, we hereby enter a motion for the following. Per Article 104, an emergency suspension of the vested rights of Second Milsha's autonomous government. 
I'd like to add that the 422nd Fleet from Gedalia has been dispatched to the scene in order to surround and contain both the Kukai Foundation and Second Milsha. Hold on there. Won't that constitute an unauthorized use of force? The deployment is in accordance with the Federation Emergency Powers Act. It is fully within our powers. I would think that the Kukai Foundation possessing that level of weaponry is a far greater problem in and of itself. Perhaps they were heroes during the conflict, or whatever in the past. But the current situation is a result of letting them have their way for so long. The Zohar belong to the entire Federation. Why should Second Milsha have sole control? The decision to turn the artifacts of Old Milsha over to an impartial third party was decided by vote 14 years ago. We're talking about the dangers of it being monopolized by a corporation! The Kukai Foundation was converted after the completion of the post-war cleanup and their own disarmament. Since taking on their current name and converting to a business, their primary source of income has become entertainment and tourism. How could they possibly have a vested interest in the Zohar? You call that disarmed? It's just enough for self-defense. Think back to the reason the organization was formed. Not only that, we can't ignore their recent achievements against the Gnosis. Can we be certain these accusations aren't merely jealousy on the part of a state that didn't receive post-war government handouts? How dare you! I've heard rumors that Milsha was secretly involved not only with the current planetary disappearance case, but also with other recent developments, including the Anti-Gnosis Sohar project. I'd like to hear the contact subcommittee's thoughts on all this. Dr. Mizrahi? We moved the 100 series Realian to second Milsha in accordance with the original plan. We're following the protocols. But I wonder... Have you forgotten that it was Milsha that produced the lunatic that summoned the Gnosis and tried to destroy the Federation? I sympathize with your desire to defend your late husband, but... Perhaps you are too deeply involved in this situation. I would not have expected my presence here to be misconstrued in such a manner. Oh, really? That this is just done that earlier. government policy. You will stand the Federation if you continue. Jealousy on the part of the state that's all Order! Order! We've just patched in with Representative Helmer. I'd like to hear about the situation from the second Milshan government. Well, Representative Helmer? against Federation vessels? Furthermore, should the Milshan government allow the Kukai Foundation to dock the Durandal, we will issue a state of emergency notice under Article 2384, Chapter 115, Part 18, Conspiracy what in the world to is Aid going Insurrection. On? It looks like they think the Durandal conspired with the Milshan government in an attack on the Federation fleet. Huh? What Federation fleet? Hey, check out the network news on the sub-monitor! You're not gonna believe this! On the morning of the 21st, it appears that the 177th Marine Division flagship Woglinde of the Galaxy Federation's Tessadora Division came under attack by a heavily armed ship belonging to the Kukai Foundation. The Woglinde? What? I thought the Gnosis attack had been reported already. The company has been identified as operating in conjunction with the second Milshan government. Considerations for the possibility of treason have forced the Federation Parliament to dispatch... They did a good job doctoring that video. But how did they synchronize the battle coordinates as well? Damn! That's from when we fought the UTIC organization! Those bastards were recording it! I see. That would explain how the absolute coordinates match. I guess that's their indisputable proof. Even I'm starting to think that we did it. Considering the situation, you don't sound very worried. In any event, this is confirmation that the remnants of the UTIC organization have infiltrated both the Federation government and the military. Which means... their next target is...
This is such a blatant lie, it's ludicrous. As survivors, if we testify... They'll just claim that you survived because you were in on the conspiracy. This is insane! Do you think this is why Headquarters hasn't communicated with us? Lapis Roman of the Galaxy Federation Special Ops Command Headquarters, Intelligence Bureau. I hereby place this ship under custody of the Galaxy Federation. I understand you're from the Woglinde. I'll take you in as witnesses. All Vector property will be temporarily confiscated as evidence. Cosmos! Here's the 100 series Realian under warrant. Hey, don't hurt her! Detain them in a single room and watch them carefully. All of them? Splitting them up will only serve to underman our guard posts. Investigate as much of the ship as possible before we rendezvous with the others. Yes, ma'am! Gainan Kukai, you are hereby under arrest for suspicion of treason against the Galaxy Federation. Come with me. As you wish. It's all orchestrated too well. Huh? The fleet deployment came too quickly. They must have been prepared to ensure that Momo would return to them, regardless of what happened. Or perhaps ensnaring second Milsha was part of their plan from the very beginning. As a neutral territory, Second Milsha was invested with a whole bunch of rights and legal privileges after the Milshan conflict. There are a whole lot of folks who still have problems with that. Even outside of the UTIC organization. The asteroid where Momo was imprisoned. I wondered where the information about that place came from. Now it seems like it was all part of the plan from the very beginning. Do you mean from when Mommy sent you to rescue me? You don't think there are UTIC members within the subcommittee itself? It's not inconceivable. Perhaps it was the very person who arranged for Momo's rescue, Dr. Yuri Mizrahi herself. No! Mommy would never do something like that! Alan! I, uh... Sorry. Open it. Helmer? Sorry to keep you waiting, Guinan. I'm in a somewhat difficult position myself at the moment, but I'm doing what I can with the Federation Parliament. Now the woman beside you is Captain Lapis Roman. Several years ago, I sent her to infiltrate the military in order to keep tabs on the UTIC members within it. She is one of my most trusted subordinates. Always prepared, aren't you? Caution is something that comes naturally with age. Captain Roman will investigate the Durandal's records before someone modifies them. Please assist her. Understood. I'll give her the Durandal's master key. Sir. There's an EPR com from the CEO of Vector. Vector? All right, I'll take it. If you'll excuse me, I'll let you know if there are any developments. Busy as always. Not half as much as you. It's good to see you again, Representative Helmer. 
Likewise, Mr. Wilhelm. We haven't spoken since you resigned as Executive Committee Director. I'm well aware of the situation. Allow me to make a recommendation to the Parliament as well. Mr. Wilhelm, you're too kind. Actually, my concerns have even prompted me to dispatch the Damarung, which is currently underway to the Milshan system. Your concerns? This incident. Surely you've realized by now that... There's no question of the Utic organization's involvement in it. Exactly. Given that, it can only mean they're after one thing. The original Zohar in stasis on Milsha, and... Udu. We can't allow that to be awakened again. I believe our firm's Cosmos and its related staff are currently in your care. I apologize, Mr. Wilhelm. I'm afraid the link between the Kukai Foundation and the Second Milshan government is... Ah, of course. Then please pass a message on to Guinan for me. Surely that would be acceptable? That much I can do. Tell him that we'll lend him Cosmos for a while, and he can use her as he sees fit. We still have time before the Zohar project commences, and in the worst-case scenario, she'll definitely be of use. We'll have the second R&D division and the tactical sim lab provide support. Are you sure? Isn't that top secret? It's a calculated risk. From our point of view, the more real-world data we get, the better. All right. I'll convey your message to Master Guinan. Thank you. Good day, then. Udu. The preliminary inquiry shall now begin. I am an agent working for Representative Helmer of the Second Milshan Parliament. He's also with us. We can go into detail later, but for now I'll just debrief you on the current situation. You are presently under the custody of the Federation government and the military. I'll be honest with you. The way things are now, within a few hours, she'll be turned over to anti-Milshan forces, specifically the UTIC organization. Soon after, the second Milshan government will be stripped of all its authority. At this moment, Representative Helmer is working with the leaders of the Milshan parliament to buy us additional time. However, our opponent's skillful manipulation requires us to find concrete proof of your innocence. But how? That's the question. We need something that would give conclusive evidence of your innocence. Conclusive evidence? What about the Woglinde's black box? We've already recovered that. Unfortunately, sometime after the final gate out, it was modified to be exactly the same as the video recording down to the time access. Not to mention, I shot up the database on that UTIC battleship. What about the Durandals database? A record of the battle against the UTIC should still be there. Can't we use that to prove our innocence? Is that a standard database? Yeah. Ah. Uh. Is that a problem? Yes. Standard databases are too easily modified. I'm not certain how reliable they would be as evidence. If we had something that even the owner couldn't change, say, a system with a AAA class encryption, then maybe... What? AAA? You don't find systems with that kind of protection just lying around? Or something like that? You need the Federation government's mother frame, or the UMN operating system. We... What? We have one. Oh, Cosmos. Cosmos? Yes. Cosmos database has a recording of the battle against the Gnosis on board the Woglinde. If we enter that as evidence... 
Yeah, but in order to copy the record, we need the keys from both the Federation government and headquarters. By diving into the Encephalon and experiencing the record ourselves, we can make a copy through the connection gear. Uh, but that's impossible without the dive equipment. How about the service module simple dive unit? You've got to be kidding. Besides, that's a violation of protocol. We don't have any other choice, do we? Oh, I am so sick and tired of protocol. But... The real question is, how do we get to Cosmos? That'll open any locked doors you come across. I'll just say that we were careless. But to make it look legitimate, you'll need to knock me out. You sure? Otherwise, no one would believe it, right? You have a point. Go easy on me, okay? Forgive me. Thanks. You're pretty cool. Please stand down. I don't want meaningless Wait. bloodshed. Wait. Leave this to me? Uh, why? Why is it just chaos? Shit. Uh, angel wings. I. You know what? I'm gonna use what I got, and what I got is chaos. Fuck. Why am I just giving chaos? Wait. Where? Why am I not given two other party members? What is this shit? Why? Plays I can boost. Come on, die. Or not. I'm gonna boost. Come on, come on. Okay, good. I had to step away for a second, but uh, I'm back, and I got a crit turn. Is it actually gonna activate, though? I'd appreciate if it activated. It did! It sure as shit did. Yeah. Why, why am I just given chaos? That is really weird. I don't understand. Hey, but he's dead. Come on, everyone. We still have a long ways to go. What do you mean, everyone? You're alone. And of course, he's the only one that gets fucking experience. God damn it. There's no one else is in the party. Why? <laughs> 